the salvation of God. If you want salvation, come to the Lord. If you want eternal life, come to the Lord. But you must let go of the things of this world. Do not love the world and the things of this world. If you love the things of the world, the love of the Father is not in you. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, all that is of the world. It is not of God. It is not of the Father. And my friends, the world is passing away in the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. What is the will of God is that you believe in his Son. Repent and believe the gospel. Don't let your pride drag you to hell. Don't let the pride of having nice things bring you to hell. Don't let the pride of the comforts of this nation keep you in this state of blindness where you go through life and at the end of your life you die only to face the judgment of God because you have rejected Jesus Christ. Today I am pleading with you today to get right with God. Be ye reconciled to God. Stop being distracted with the cares of this life because you're going to die, my friends. Death is coming for you, sir. Death is coming. Death is coming for all of us. For it is appointed once for man to die. And then after that, the judgment. There is a day where you will die and you will stand before the judgment, sir. Are you ready to meet thy God? Are you ready to stand before the God that created you, my friends? For it will be a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. It will be a very intimidating day for all those who have rejected Jesus Christ. It will be a very fearful and intimidating day for those who die without the salvation of the Lord. But while you are still alive, you still have a chance, my friends. You can come to the Lord Jesus today that if you confess the Lord Jesus with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. For with the heart one believes on the righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. But you must be willing to come. Come to Jesus, sir. Get right with God. Stop playing games with your life because you're going to die one day. And you don't know when that day is coming. And for many people, it's coming sooner than what they think. A lot of people thought they would be here today, but they woke up dead. So many people died this morning. Will you be alive tomorrow, sir? Will you be here still in the land of the living tomorrow? See, my friends, we have no control over our own lives. Our lives are nothing but a vapor. One day we're here and the next day you're gone. Sir, if you die today, is your heart right with God? Can you honestly say that or are you living in rebellion? Because my friend, you're going to stand before the Lord and you're going to give an account for your life. And if you die without salvation, you're going to go to hell, my friends. And today I'm pleading with you today. Come to the Lord, sir. Salvation is not a laughing matter. This is a serious thing. You got Yeah, see, you got a filthy mouth and you got a filthy heart, my friend, and you're going to be judged, and there will be no laughing on that day, sir. You need to lay hold of the mercy seat of God and put your pride and your arrogance down because you're not promised tomorrow, sir. You die without the salvation of the Lord, you're going to bust hell wide open. Come to the Lord. This might be your last chance, sir. You might be laughing today. Go on tomorrow. We got a lot of arrogant people in this world. They mock the preaching of Jesus Christ. They want to stick middle fingers in your face. But my friend, there is a day when all scoffers and mockers will face the judgment of God. And there will be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth for all those who reject the salvation of the Lord. There will be a day of great suffering for all those who die without the salvation of the Lord. They will go to hell. 
And my friend, your only anchor of hope in this life is Jesus. If not, you have no hope and you will die and you will go to hell. And there's no Bibles in hell, ma'am. There's no second chances in hell. Once you go to hell, you stay in hell. All those in hell are hoping for another chance, but their chance is over with. And I am pleading with you today to come to the Lord Jesus Christ because there is a day of accountability coming. Repent and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent and get right with the Lord. Be ye reconciled to God before it's too late. Be ye reconciled to God before it's too late, my friends. For it's appointed once for man to die, and then after that the judgment.